To all about the place. I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. And we are here today <laughs> to uh, have a, a bit of an introduction, overview, uh, rebirth of. Rebirth! Of. of what? Well, rebirth of Gensbenz. Yes. Into Gensler. Oh. Basically. So, um, uh, Gensler uh, was a new brand, a new brand of bass amps we brought on. Um, it just so happens that I, this is my rig. Um, <gasps> so I've had, yeah, so I've, I've bought a Gens Benz rig, the first well, this incarnation. Because very often I see in the comments below, people go, hey, what do you guys play? You know, what do you yeah. play? So here you go. This, here is, we, this, what is, you, this yeah. is what you play with. This is me old, the old girl's been going for a long, long time now. I was trying to work out 13 years, 14 years or something. Right. Quite the year that they, they, they came out. So um, just as a bit of an introduction of what they were, before Mark Bass, before lightweight bass amps or guitars were even a thing, these guys came around and started to, to, uh, to introduce something to the market it was like okay we don't have to be carrying around massive massive bass amps anymore. so was this a switch to the neodymium speaker technology right this is the lightweight magnets that's it okay. absolutely man and i mean it, it was quite interesting in, i mean i bought this and then about six months later then mark Bass. how old were you of, when you bought it nine i was uh <laughs> it's like 17 16 17. oh yeah yeah I know, but it's you know, it, man, it's solid as anything. It's last. There's a few bits that have fallen off over the years and everything, but um, uh, just like handles. This, this is you carry this in, and this is kind of fixed on, right? The, Did yeah, you do that, or is that a standard no, no, no? Thing? That was that was how how they were, they were made. They actually used to have a handle on the top, but okay. when that that broke about three times, I was like, That's let's enough. just put it up on the side. Okay, like but um, but no, it's lasted really, really well. Um, but say it's really interesting now. So Gensbenz, they, they had a bit of trouble. They went into um, they, they closed down basically. Um, that is quite a lot of trouble. It's quite a lot of trouble when you're a business. <laughs> a bit of trouble. Closing down is quite uh, yeah, it's it's pretty quite final. a problem. Yeah. Um, but uh, but say the, the the company actually came around with um, Jeff Gensler designing PAs in the eighties mostly, and then bass player mate of him just asking, like, can I get a 115 15 speaker just to start gigging with? Yeah. Um, and from that, that was his mate that they actually then went into business with. They worked at a music store together and they went into business, created Gensbenz. 
Um, it went wrong for whatever reasons. You can find out online. Have a look. Yeah. I won't mention any. But um, no, we won't mention any names. Mention any names. Um, but Gensler is now what Jeff Gensler is doing. This is um, the sort of reincarnation, the evolution from this um, to what he's doing now. And absolutely, man, it's it's a new, really interesting uh, design. Having these, as you probably see from here as well, the what they call the base array. So they're like the linear speakers that are front in the front of each cab. You're talking about these little the, tw the little, the little tweeters, the drivers, the little yeah. HF drivers there. So you get four three-inch neodymium. They're all near neodymium as well, just to, to bring the weight down. Okay. Neodymium. Neodymium. Interestingly, I see that they're actually bigger in the twelve-inch cab than they are in the ten. That's interesting, isn't it? Interesting. Oh, good shout. So these will be three inches. That's what I looked at. They'd be three-inch speakers, and these would be like there must be two, mustn't they? Okay, there must be a reason for that. I don't know what that is. That's it. Uh, but and then it's great. Do you know? I love this slanted cab design. It's cool. It's because cool. as a as a, a gigging bass player, the the one thing you really suffer with with the, the conventional just sort of straight cab design is once you stand yeah. up, yeah. you're on a small stage. It's hitting your ass. It's just going that way. You can't hear a thing. <laughs> yeah. So to actually have it coming up your in your direction, more like the conventional, you know, wedge monitors. And that's the idea. It's exactly right? that. Is that yeah, absolutely, mate. And this, and you can choose where what you want. If you did want something straight, you can get um, these straight cabs as yep. well. If you want to stack it up as normal, but yeah, it's a really cool little little thought that actually makes the whole speaker cab like a PA speaker, as you see on the front of house, didn't you? As the angle. Yeah, sort of modern line array PA system. Yeah. yeah. And I uh, I take it that you can actually connect three uh, cabs together. Right? You can. So you could. Um, <laughs> If you can afford it, you can buy all three of these, <laughs> we'll get onto that. and then you come out of there that two ohm uh, thing on the back. Two point six all, seven ohm. Okay, link all the the cabs together. Yeah, and then you've got a, a mighty stack. A mighty stack, absolutely. And and you know these are all it's all American designed, built. You know it's all American made products. Here, oh, so, is it? Um, yeah, absolutely. What are, I, I just thought it was German. Just because it sounds German. German. It's not German. No, 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 no. Jeff Gensler's Amer from America. Yeah, yeah, it's from oh, America. Yeah. I don't know if he's still in, Ar still in Arizona, but they're, they're from, yeah, oh. from Arizona. I just assume, because of the name, Gens Benz, it Gens sounds Benz. so German. It does. It's, it's American, right? Yeah. American. No, that's it, man. And so back in the day, I mean, this was, say, going about then, I don't know, this is about two grand for 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 that, that okay. and, and the cab. Yeah. Um, so, and that back in those days, it was a lot of money on it, mate. It was a lot of money. When the TV was black and white and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, man. And like, the base. But actually, I was going to say earlier, so this, when I bought this, uh, Mark Base came out about five, six, seven, eight months later. Mm. I, I played, played one and lifted one and went, oh, that's a light, that's a light base amp. Right. So this is actually, you know, it's, it's, it was one of the lighter, lighter first ones, but it's not that light. Yeah, really. I think it's still pretty chunky. But it's it's not bad. I mean, you know, as I carried it up the stairs for you, <gasps> thank it you. was. Um, I, I thought it was still impressively light. Oh so, no, uh, no. I mean, but you say the same sort of weight that you get on on this. Actually, a little bit lighter. They really say um, it's tried to go for that slightly thinner, thinner design of of casing, but mm. really, really rugged and and it sounds like a beast. So you've heard it in the uh, in the intro there a little bit of um, for what it we do. It does sound really nice, doesn't it? We were just going through some tones earlier, as we will in a minute for you, obviously. And uh, yeah, really lots of nice tones in there. In I'd, head. I'd like to just, one thing straight away, just take your bass mount, I think, and just put it straight through this. Yep. Just have a little play, and because this is all set flat. This is a tube preamp on this. This isn't, I don't, I don't believe. It's just solid state class D, but this is got a tube preamp in it. Okay. Um, but I think just with the the cabs and everything, what was coming through is such a. It really is an evolution in in sound as well. I think so. Yeah, should we do it? Let's do it. All right. Okay. So, I'll have a I'll have a little play around with whatever's on here. Just literally what the shaping is. Literally okay. Just got low mid and treble. Yeah. On the scooping, there's a lot more to have a play with that. So just to give you an idea of what they used to sound like. Bass is uh, Fender American Professional Series jazz bass. Yes. Passive jazz. So. Passive jazz. It's a little bit different because it's swamp ash body because of light ash, but it's it's the jazz bass. It's yeah. a jazz bass. It with, is. With cool it? looking cream knobs and pickups. But I didn't know. It's very light too, actually. Mm. It's in the name. Hey. <laughs> right. Then. Right. Do Let's it. Do something. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like it. Okay. Sorry, I've got get me some GoPro. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's some options. There's some options. Sounds it's, nice. Sounds nice. It's a lovely sounding room, man. It's got that uh, clarity to it that I always love. It's just quite a flat platform. Just mm -hmm. to, you know, do what you need. And I've got board and things on that. But um, yeah, there it is. Lovely. That's lovely. what it was. So I think now I'm going to have another, another practice with my GoPro. Oh, yeah, do it, man. But on the new shiz. Lovely. So there we go. You heard a bit of Gens, Benz. Now, 2019, Gensler, Magellan 800. Right, give me GoPro. Come on. Get right. your camera. Come on, get, get your camera. camera. Come on. Right, let's do it, mate. Where are we now? So we're all pretty, pretty flat. Yeah, a little bit of the contour flat, coming yeah. through. Yeah, I mean you can see you start with the contour out and then maybe dial that in. Yeah. And then we've got two different contours, two different flavours, so uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So anyway, what are you thinking? Yeah. What are you thinking about oh, that? Okay, I don't know. I, I love this contour, this contour. So when it's on the uh, the yellow, you've got more of like a mid rangey I guess that's B, right? Punch. Oh, okay, yeah. So A, a is the blue. blue one. That was definitely the mid scoop. Yep. Whether you're getting your funk, smiley face yeah. thing going on, the more you dial that in. And that one, yeah, you're right. Was it like a mid? That was great. <laughs> With the pick as well, that was like just like, driving through. Um, and it, I just think, I know just hearing it from there as well, it's just from the speakers, I hope this is coming through well for, for you guys. It's just those little tweeters really, really add something that's just an absolute It's very, it's, very clarity. it's a real focus sound. Yeah. It? It's real, real kind of focus, punchy. But it's, and you think, I'd say I've always thought this is pretty clean, but then it's side by side, it's really interesting with that. And I guess it makes sense, it's more like that PA, just making sure there's that, um, is it a linear projection? So it's all coming out of the, the same place. Yeah. There was a part for the, the design where they said like, Keeping it in front of the main main woofer gives it that more of a di directional um, sort of focus to okay. it. So and that that projection to it. So right, right. that with the angled thing that you're saying as well, man, like that. So you're going to get a nice, going to disperse nicely. Oh well, I'd love to have one say. of these on stage. I have to say, I think it would be a, a real sort of joy to play through. So. It is good, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay. Um, so I any guess more specs we... that I've missed. Yeah. Well, let's have a little look. Universal power supply. Ah, oh, that was a great mix, right? So you can just you don't need to do any mods or anything around the world if you're going to you know different. So you voltage. can plug it into one ten, one ten, two forty. You don't yep. have to change anything. You don't have to worry about step up transformers, step down transformers. Yeah, that's, that's going to work. That's that universal. Is, that is very useful. I've got aircraft grade brushed aluminium. Well, that's the most important thing, obviously. The most important thing <laughs> about the base amp. Um, impedance selector. Now that is pretty cool. So you're going from eight to you can go to eight to four or to two point six seven. That's if you want to use all three. Yeah. So today, um, just for the purpose of this demonstration, we've just got the top two hooked up, um, and I've got 
uh, two speak on needs coming out the head, going to each, uh, each cab one. individually. But like I say, you can come out of one, change the impedance to the two ohm thing, and then just link the bottom two. You're saying, uh, no, so, link yeah. all of them. Oh, yeah, just link. Yeah, just come out of one output and then link, link a lot. I think one output and then link and link. Yeah. So yeah, there's that's and you'll get full 800 watts power if you're using it either in eight or four ohms. Oh, okay. sorry. Uh, oh no, no, sorry, no, in four or 2.67. Yeah, that's what I mean. And then 400 watts when you're using it eight ohms with one cap. Okay, yeah. all right, that's still quite a whack. And they, they do a, a smaller version of this, is that right? They do, yeah, good chat, man. It's a 350, the Magellan 350 head, which we should have a look at maybe um, at some point with more the sort of as a shootout against them all as well. I think you've done a uh, one recently under a thousand, which this was involved with, wasn't it? Oh, okay, right. And I think that came out pretty well. I can't remember. I was around for that. One. Um, that's uh, okay. All right. That's all right. Check. We'll check the videos <laughs> later. Um, so, uh, so yeah. No, I think we've mentioned everything apart from money. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's talk about money. So let's. So what's it? What are these, what this is going to set us back? Right. It's not going to be cheap, right? Because this not is cheap. this is high end. It's boutique basically. Primo, right? primo, primo. Yes. So um, 350 watt head you mentioned, mate. Yes. That is 415 pounds. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This one here, 800 watt head, yeah. is 749. Okay. 749, so the well, one- that's, that's, that's not outrageous. It's not, that's pretty much in the Seven, same- 750 for an 800 watt head, I guess, all right. It's in the same vein as a lot of the Aguilar stuff we do, the dark glass, it is one of those, you know, another proper, uh, a, you know, a high-end brand, as it were. Sure. So, um, but yeah, the 110 speaker, with the little Ray speakers here in the front, is 542. Okay, uh, so I think that's, you're gonna have to spend a little bit more on the cabinets, aren't you, because that's- yeah, if you want the full power of that, especially the, the 800 watts, you can at least need two, yeah. you know, to run but it. But I mean, just, uh, you know, they are quite expensive cabs. Yes, yes. For a 110 cab, that is quite a lot of money. For, yeah, 542 quid. It is, it is. I mean, but then when you get up to the 112s, so the, the slant one here is 799. Oh, and the straight is 799. So they're exactly, the, if you want it straight or slanted, whatever your preference, <laughs> um, uh, is the same money. And um, so, but yeah, you're looking, say, 800 quid a cab, Aguilar and again dark loss if we're comparing it to that same sort of money they, they, they are that sort of money are up there yeah right. up there the same sort of money like the SL 112s we looked at again before and the dark glass for two 210 cab or 212 you're looking at eight, eight nine hundred quid so sure. so yeah it's up with it's, it's pricey it's pricey but and you it's said that quality. you said when you bought that was about two grand right that was about two grand yeah that okay. was just over I think two grand all right um and it but okay if this is anything I've had that serviced I should probably have it serviced a bit more than that but two two twice in 15 years or whatever. Well, there you go. And it's still going, you know, it's still going. I've replaced one speaker, that's it. Um, so if you're invest, if it's an investment, it's a really, really good one. Yeah, so I'm just trying to think what a stack's gonna cost you. And if you just add the two, it's so, gonna be eight, 16. 16. Uh, well, only a bit. Uh, yeah, 24. Yeah. 24. Okay. So, uh, you know, bearing in mind inflation and all that, um, then it's probably about the same as what you pay for yours, isn't it? Shout. There you yeah, go. there we go. But it sounds a lot better. I, in my, my opinion, I'm yeah, now... Well, you, you, you should know, because yeah. there you go, tried and tested, you know what, how this sounds. And you right. now heard this, so, and, um, so yeah. an improvement there, yeah? Absolutely. Well Come done, on, Mr. Jeff. Gensler. Jeff, sort us out, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice one. All right, great. Wicked. Well, there we go. We've got them in store now. We've, um, uh, we should check out, we're going to uh, show you on another video, just a little rundown on our new basement downstairs in, in the store. We've got like a wall of base cabs now. Ooh. And uh, yeah, every head that we've got pretty much in, in store is available to kind of link through whatever the cab. The base department is expanding. <sighs> expanding, of course. Mm. Of course. So, you know, if you can, get down to the store, get down to Anderton's and come and check this stuff out. Absolutely. Uh, you know, there's, there's no sort of replacement for actually listening to it yourself and playing uh, through it. Yeah, you're too right. And bring your gear, you know, bring your base, bring your board, you see, you know, see what... Bring your wallet. And your wallet, yeah. <laughs> That's the most important bit. Too right. Yeah, great. Okay. Lovely. There you go. Mr. Gensler, Gensler Magellan 800 and uh, appropriate cabinets. Very appropriate nice. Cabinets. I like you get a thumbs up. Did you get a thumbs up? Too right. Two. Two thumbs. Yeah, man. I wish I had four hands. I wish two I had hands. What else can I put up? Hey, that's enough. That's enough. Anyway, well, enough on that. let's oh, uh, <laughs> let's see you soon. Thank you for joining us. Yes. He's been Nathan. I have. And I've been someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Just for now. Just for now. Uh, yeah, it's been all about the base. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. See you soon. Bye bye. Love ya.